brain tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest version of the Microsoft Edge web browser, version 99, has rolled out recently. And this is the last double digit version of the Edge browser that we will re be receiving. Um, and the next one will be the first three digit version, version 100, which we will receive in the next couple of weeks. Now, for a major version update, there are actually there's actually not too much to report on regarding new features. And I will try my best to highlight some of those uh, new features for you in this video. And then also there are the all-important security updates which roll out with every version to the Edge browser. Now, there's quite a little bit going on with your passwords and profile and when it comes to updates in version 99. And the first is if we head up to our profile picture, manage profile settings, head to profile preferences. Um, you can now personalize multi-profile multi experiences with profile preferences for sites. Now, profile preferences for sites was a feature that rolled out in version 98. And now in version 99, if you have got more than one profile that you use in your Edge browser, now I don't, so I can't actually demonstrate, but if you do have more than one profile, you will see uh, a little add button by profile preferences for sites to the right here, a little add button, which when you click on that, a little um, add fly out menu will appear with three options the first will be the website uh, that you want your profile to switch to uh, you have uh, the action which um, you can obviously uh, set as switch and then you will have the profile name so you'll add the profile that you want that website to switch to so in future when you go to that certain website that you've entered um, it will switch to that profile so that's been upgraded in version 99 and then sticking with um, uh, the uh, profiles, this time it's to, do, it's to do with passwords. If we head back into our uh, your profile page, click on passwords. Yeah, you will see custom primary passwords. So you can prompt for the customized primary password bef before filling website passwords. So in version 99 now, and um, if you want to find out more, you can just click on learn more. You can actually... Um, create a password a custom primary password that you will have to enter before the browser can actually auto save the password and put it into the password list automatically so that's just a nice little security add-on in version 99 and then the last to do with passwords is you can configure the list of domains for which the password manager user interface you are for save and fill will be disabled so basically this means According to the re release notes, that save and fill workflows will be disabled, which ensures that passwords for those websites can't be saved or autofilled into web forms. And that's if you use the password manager block, block list policy that is rolled out in version 99 to prevent um, passwords from automatically being saved. So there's quite a little bit going on with your profiles and passwords in version 99. And then the last little key highlight to mention is to do with PDF documents. So if we just quickly open a PDF document, a sample PDF, uh, you can now navigate PDF documents using your uh, page thumbnails to the left. So now you have thumbnails that you can just click on um, to navigate through your pages, which is a nice handy addition to the Edge PDF Reader, which by the way, the Edge PDF Reader is one of the better browser PDF re readers that you will actually get. And then you have a couple of policy updates um, and I will leave a link down below to the release notes where you can go check those out if you'd like to make any changes there with any policy updates. And then lastly, we have the all important um, security updates that are based on the latest Chromium project, which the Edge browser is based on. And they are all in all 21 security fixes to 21 security vulnerabilities in this latest version of the Edge browser. So if you're not interested in any of the features, um, just make sure you're up to date to keep your browsing experience safe and secure because your web browser is basically the entry point to your online browsing. So um, it's important to check that you have the latest version and update uh, just to keep your browser safe and secure. So to do this, uh, we, as always, we just head up to the top right as many of you know help and feedback about microsoft edge and if you use the browser regularly this will be updated in the background and the latest version and build now you should be on is 
1.30. So that's the latest version, which is the last two-digit version before we get to 100. And that's the latest build, 1150.30, which carries those uh, policy updates, the uh, password and profile changes, the PDF changes, and then those 21 security fixes to the Edge browser, to the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on. And then, as mentioned, we will be getting to version 100 in the next couple of weeks. And uh, um, it's going to be interesting to see because there are some websites are reporting some problems with uh, version 100, uh, which I have covered in detail on this channel, where they could read version 100 as version 10. Um, some older websites could do that, but I'm sure by that stage, uh, Microsoft would have ironed out the details. But I will keep you posted as to when version 100 rolls out. So that's more or less what's new in the latest stable version of the Edge browser, version 99. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.